Welcome to Sandown. It's arguably the biggest race of the week. It's the Coral Eclipse Stakes for three-year-olds and up a mile and two. It's a group one across Flashman for player one. Always dreaming for Dan Hughes. Andrew Ticks with E. Thompson. Bun Ratty Span for David Ed. Court Minstrel for Pontypool. And Costa a boot for John Morgan. Foshan Town for Vinnie Gerard. Masovian for D. Thompson. Dancing Goddess. And Endless Nights for Leon Van Rensburg. Lily Paul for Paul O'Neill. American Pharaoh. Dan King. Battlestaff. Tam King. Um, Dante's Inferno for Joshua Sutherland, Dove Cottage for Alex Cherry, Hannah and Elder for Vinnie Gerard, Torzia Ings for Hem, The Collector for Mark Jones, Zero Tolerance for Paul Rhodes, Brief Alacarba for John, Cruz on by for Seabeck with Joan Jett for Paul Rhodes, Miss Dark Angel for Satyam, Quantity Surveyor for Hems, Fawns and Quid for David O, Free Wishes for Alex Cherry, and Warm Embrace for Dan French, 27 in the Coral Eclipse. Huge race here, three year olds take on the four year olds for the first time over the classic distance of 10 furlongs, and they're off. And Dancing Goddess has got a shocker of a draw, but hits the front trying to get across early. Masovian, the well fancied Darren Thompson favourite, is also up there following its Royal Ascot win. I think there's a maiden as well at the time. But Masovian and Dancing Goddess are out at the front. There's a John Morgan horse there lurking in the wings. It's Brief Alacaba, Warm Entrance, Warm Embrace is also up there. Miss Stark Angel for Satyam. Then you've got Quantity Surveyor. Trapped out wide is Battlestar, who looks to have also kept another one trapped out wide but I'm not sure which one that is it could be Torsier Ings I'm not sure um, but it is still Dancing Goddess and Masovian as they come down to the halfway point here at Sandown Coral Eclipse and it is Dancing Goddess uh, I'm not sure why she hasn't pulled over to the rail yet she's costing herself some ground here as they come around the big sweeping bend at Sandown shortly but now she comes across she's coming straight across and here comes Dancing Goddess to take the lead from Masovian Miss Dark Angel, Warm Embrace and Fawns and Quid are the three in behind and then the chasing pack is led by Cruz on by who's coming out of it but it is still Dancing Goddess as they come down and round the bend towards the big sand down hill and Dancing Goddess is going to make a real race of this we're looking for Endless Nights, the joint favourite, who's also trying to get through the gaps now at the back, but going to struggle to get through a wall there as Dancing Goddess kicks for home. Dancing Goddess is kicked for home from Fawns and Quick, Ruth Alakama, the collector on the outside. Bar Matty Spence towards the ends on the outside as well, on the inside, Cruz on by. Dancing Goddess is relentlessly pounding on the sand out there, and still continues to go and clear, but Fawns and Quick is pushing for David Ann. Fawns and Quick, Ruth Alakama, Masovian's going to try and fight back. It's Fawnton Quinn who takes it off from Endless Nights in the Eclipse. They're flying home. Look at Masovian. Masovian weaving through for Fawnton Quinn. Masovian on the rail. Endless Nights turned up on the premises at the end there. What a finish to the Coral Eclipse. I don't know if Fawnton Quinn's held on. Masovian was cruising through. Endless Nights was turning up as well. Masovian, the 6-4 favourite on the rail in a barnstormer of an Eclipse. Takes it from Font and Quid. What a race. Endless Nights absolutely carved through the crowd as well. But was caught short in the wall. But Masovian, the 6-4 favourite for Darren Thompson, follows up from Ascot. Font and Quid, your second. Very unlucky. I don't know what Andrew Mullen was doing on the line. Endless Nights flew through to come down the outside for third. In an absolute classic rendition of the Coral Eclipse.